Hello there, it's uh, Carl here from uh, Carl's Brewery and today I'm going to show you how to make some fruit wine um, at the moment I've added my two lemons and grated the brine I've got a two and a half pints here of tea that's what I use for my tanning some other things you're going to need yeast nutrient candon powder essential and uh, pectolase to break down the fruit right. first step I'm going to get my masher and mash the fruit bit about myself I um, I've just I've started home brewing over a year ago now I've mainly done wines and um, I'm slowly moving towards the ales but I primarily do wine so at the moment I've got elderflower wine on the go I'll show you that a little later on it's still fermenting Started that at the beginning of June, well, end of May, because the elderflower was out early this year. But for the uh, summer fruit wine, that is the consistency that you want. I don't know whether you can see that in there, like that. Pretty good consistency. Now, for this recipe, I've used frozen veg. One reason, frozen fruit rather, um, one reason it helps it breaks down easier, it helps the pectolase break it down, and also, I haven't got any fruit at the moment. be right back I've just got to get my um, spoon right you roughly want three teaspoons of pectolase to your fruit
take our tea bag out. Now add our tea. as it will start breaking down the fruit and the fruit cell structure and later on I shall uh, boil up six kilograms of sugar and add that to me uh, mixture And is essential to get all keep all the nasties out. back later on today but that's me signing out for now and uh, thanks for watching bye so I've got my water on board for the boil at the moment um, just filling up another water bottle just in case if I need any more water uh, the sugar should be pretty well dissolved in there now And, uh, and I shall add my sugar to my mead and then uh, come back into the way I go basically hello again it's uh, Carl here from Carl's Home Brewery um, I'm just about to boil uh, my uh, six kilos of sugar now I'm just filling the water pot up right. probably not very good lighting in here in the kitchen anyway um, so uh, we'll just let that boil for five to ten minutes bring the water to the boil and um, then add it to a mead which has been stewing now for a little while let that stew overnight just put you down there guys right 
Well, that's on the boil. I'll give you a little tour of my uh, brewer. Obviously, that there is my uh, pot that I use to boil um, my uh, sugar syrup in for my wine. But I'll take you through now to uh, show the rest. Oh, happy days! This is the rest of my brewery. See, I have... This I used prior to bottling. I've got some rhubarb wine down there, if you can just see it. Which I've just bottled. It's in the fridge currently. I've got another fermenter here that's for obviously second stage fermenting. I also do beer, that's a beer barrel that I use for bottling. Another bot bucket, another fermenter there, I use that for my beer as well. These are all my beer bottles. I've got a mini keg there and I need to find another stopper for it so that I can reuse it for beer and there's another bucket there and here I have my um, hmm, Demi Johns for smaller batch reservoir yes I've done these two festival kits very good kits they are and a few other bits of miscellaneous but that's pretty much my brewery but hope future plans are hopefully to get a bulldog brewer and put it in here with a boiler and basically that'd be happy days that'd be me all grain brewing eventually that's future plans though anyway that's me for signing off now Not quite to the boil yet, but I've also got elderflower wine I'll show you on second fermentation. Which I'll show you. There it is, there, yeah, fermenting. Boy. Come on, give us a look. That is pretty much it. That's where I primarily put my uh, wines and beers in the ferment and fermenting stage because it's warmer in here than it is in my uh, garage because it gets quite cold in winter. Anyway, I'm signing off now because I'm waffling on a bit. But that is a brief intro to my little brewery, come winery, sodding light. Anyway, this is Carl signing off and thanks for watching and please click, don't forget to click like, share and subscribe. Bye.